Hey, good seeing you. Steve Cypress here. I want to shoot a quick video because the number one question I get asked all the time about the All-Star Entrepreneur Mastermind is, what's the event all about, Steve? Hey, what's a, tell me about what the event's all about. And I can tell you best in a story, and I'll try and make it as brief as possible, but I have been to, attended, spoken at, and now hosted all kinds of seminars and events and conferences. But back in the day when I was kind of just breaking in and starting out as an an entrepreneur and I would attend conferences, I thought it was all about the speakers on the stage. And I would dutifully find my way up, usually up into the front row and sit there and taking notes through the whole event like a good student. My mom was a school teacher and there I was a good student up in the front row and, you know, writing down everything and learning as much as I could. And, and then on a break, you know, take a break and uh, take a bio break or whatever, what, get back in the room, make sure you're back in there for the next speaker and all that. And then at the end of the day, uh, you know, being exhausted, go back to the hotel room and read through my notes and to get a good night's sleep and get ready for the next day. And, and that's what I did for a little while. And then at one event, I had a life-changing, eye-opening, completely transformational experience. And it all happened in the blink of an eye. There I was, as usual, sitting way up, probably near the front row or in the front row. And wouldn't you know it, I just had to go. I mean, I think I had not hit the men's room in the last break because I was talking to the person next to me or whatever it was. I just had to go. I knew I couldn't make it till the end of the speaker. I had another half hour to go. Uh, and I was like, man, I'm going to miss taking notes. I'm gonna, I better run. And I got up and I, I kind of, you know, half ran towards the back of the room. Uh, I knew the men's room's out in the hall to the right. And soon as I opened the back doors... There's like 800 people in the conference room. When I opened those back doors, my life changed forever. Who did I see out in the hall back there? I expected, of course, an empty hall. Everyone's in here. The speakers are speaking. This is the event. This is where we are. And yet, who was out there in the hall? Well, basically anyone who was anyone was out in the hall. I was like, what? Now, of course, I had to go. So I kind of made my way past them. But as I was going... Uh, on my way to the men's room, I was like, holy moly, you know, that was the event host. You can never get a hold of the event host. Did you ever see him not on the stage? He's, he's probably behind the stage back. But if he ever came out, he was bolting around, maybe saying hello, but he had to run and this. There he is, hanging out in the hall, talking to one of the speakers. And then one of the other speakers talking to one of the sponsors. And then a couple of the big shots that I knew were just big shots in the industry and in this organization. And they were talking to each other. And I was like, Holy moly, that's it. That th These people aren't inside taking notes up in the front row. No, I, I don't even see them in there. Wait, I'm like, wait, this, this is where I want to be. This is where I got to be. Then I found out that not only is all of what the event's about, all the money making, all the relationship building, all the, the really deep connections, all the good stuff that happens at these conferences, uh, it doesn't just happen out in the hall. It also happens, like I said, backstage in the green room uh, where the speakers are or out in the sponsor booths. Once I, I got to hang out with some of the movers and shakers and some were sponsors of the events, well, I'm hanging out with them. They're like, I can't talk right now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I got people coming up to the booth. But, you know, hang out when the next speaker comes on because then I get a break. And I was like, wow, never thought of that. When the speaker gets on and everyone's scur all the newbies, all the people don't know any better, like that was me, scurry back in the room to dutifully take notes on the speakers. Well, then the sponsors have time to hang out and get to know each other and talk to each other. And then the speakers and the event hosts and the movers and the shakers are all out there with the sponsors, which became me. I started sponsoring an event and hanging out with the sponsors. And then we all know, when, uh, when the, oh, when's the next speaker is ending soon? So we got to wrap up because that's when people are going to come to my booth and I'm going to make some money. But then I can't wait to make a lot more money by connecting with the other sponsors and speakers and the event host and the movers and shakers because that's where all the great connections are made. And that's where all the, the, the big things happen. That's where people get on stages for future events or collaborate or find people they need for their business or for their project or people to promote or people to invest. That's where it all happens during the breaks. Another time is during the lunches. And sometimes there's a VIP lunch or a VIP breakfast or a VIP cocktail reception. 
well, more deals and more movers and shakers in there. And again, the, the people that were like me that didn't know any better are not there because, oh, you know, why am I going to pay another 200 bucks for the VIP lunch? You know, lunch, I can get lunch for 20 bucks or 30 bucks. Dude, uh, the VIP lunch, I could have paid $5,000 for it now with the, what the amount that I profit from VIP lunches and cocktail receptions. And then there's hanging out the bar, the multi-day events, hanging out the bar at the end of the day, not going back up to the hotel room and resting up for the next day like I used to do. I would say, you know, I don't drink. Why would I go hang out at the bar? When someone said, you got to come hang out at the bar, so-and-so and me and so-and-so are hanging out. And I was like, those are like three of the top people in this whole industry going to be hanging up. That's worth it. Holy, I went to hang out at the bar after the event. There's people, of course, I didn't see in the event hall. And I didn't see, I mean, in the room, I didn't see them pretty much the whole time. They were all there. Hanging out at the bar, talking, building relationships, getting to know each other, collaborating, cross-promoting, investing, sharing, finding out what's the latest thing that's working right now to attract more clients, what's working online, what's working offline. That's what all happens the time in between the events. So bottom line, that's what the all-star entrepreneur mastermind is all about. I created the event that is the absolute perfect event that all the movers and shakers would love and people that want to be movers and shakers. It's the event without all the pitches and all the lectures and all the people talking up on the stage in front of 500 or 800 or 100 or 1,000 or 7,000 people or whatever. It's the people hanging out. And so the All-Star Entrepreneur Mastermind is pretty much all hanging out. Now it's orchestrated and coordinated hanging out because I operate like a matchmaker flitting around. I know everyone there. It's uh, it's by invitation only. I keep it a very small group. That's another thing. You don't have to sort through and try and find somebody in a room of 500 or 1,000 or 5,000 people or maybe, you know, see someone, oh, I, I barely saw them or you were at the event. I didn't know. No. This, in fact, it's just going to be a few people. It always is. Everyone gets to know everyone. And here's what happens. I make it a multiple day event because also, Maybe the first day, the first time you're meeting people, you get to talk, you get to hang out. There's no pitches to wait for the few minutes in between. The whole event is the in-between. It's the having meals, it's the hanging out backstage, it's the hanging out in the hall, it's the hanging out in the bar. It's really just in a relaxing environment, getting to know everybody, and I as a matchmaker are introducing people and saying, hey, so-and-so, you just gotta talk to this person. I mean. She's, she's great. She's fantastic at what she does. You mentioned you're looking for so-and-so. You're looking for someone who knows this. She knows somebody. You guys got to talk. And what will happen is all the time at my events, oh, my hand's getting tired holding up the camera here. Uh, so that tells me I've been too long. So I'm going to cut it off here. But basically, if you get to the event, which you really should, uh, at least you should apply and we can talk. Uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll experience it and hopefully your life will change as well. And the light bulb will go off and you'll say, man, of course. That's what an event's all about, that in-between time. And I say that as a speaker and at my events, there are plenty of event hosts and speakers. And so, you know, our secret is out of the bag uh, in this video that, of course, they like all the people dutifully sitting in the seats listening to their pitch to buy their stuff. But even they know, and they'll be the first one to tell you, that the most, the best parts of the event, the time to get the most out of the event is that in-between time in the bar or at lunch or at dinner or at a breakfast or out by the pool or hanging out in the hallway or the green room of the sponsor booths or wherever you can in an informal atmosphere just hanging out getting to know people and so multiple day why the all-star entrepreneur uh, mastermind is a multiple day event is because on the first day maybe you meet somebody you talk and you, you say like wow you know they really are down to earth they weren't an arrogant know-it-all i thought they were because they were a big shot in the industry but man they're just a person like me, even though I'm just starting out and they really want to help me and talk. But then you get to go back at the end of the first day to your hotel room or Airbnb or wherever you're staying. And you start to look a few people up that you met. And you look up their Facebook or their LinkedIn and you find out what they're all about, what they like, uh, what they've done in the past, what projects they're working on, what they're looking for. And you see who they're connected to. So maybe there's a mutual connection that you can go back the next day. Or maybe there's a connection, they're connected to somebody that you really want to meet or you would really want to talk to or get connected to. You can go back the next day and say, hey, you know, I, I, I was checking out on your Facebook. I saw that you're friends with so-and-so. Is there any way that you can introduce me to so-and-so because I'm looking for this and that and I can help them out with this and we can go. 
And what happens at the All-Star Entrepreneur Mastermind all the time, I watch this all the time, someone will just take out their phone right there on the spot, make a call, hey, so-and-so, yeah, you got to talk to uh, Mary here, you know, she's blah, 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 and you said you were looking for blah, and uh, here, hang on, talk to Mary, boom, and the connection is made right there on the spot. And so deals are made, investments are made, partnerships are formed, all kinds of big things happen. I hear years and years later, people tell me, oh yeah, I've been working with that guy ever since. And I met him at your All-Star Entrepreneur Mastermind. Thank you so much. When are you having another one? All through the shutdowns, when are you having another one? When are you having another one? When are you having another one? Well, the shutdowns are over. We're back. We are having another one. So hit me up if you have any interest. Just go right to the website, stevecypress.com slash all dash star and you can check out the all-star entrepreneur mastermind you can apply to attend i highly suggest if you're a mover and shaker or a, a mover and shaker of course you want to be here and hang out with other mover and shakers if you're not becoming superstar and you want to become a mover and shaker i, I just gave you the secret that's how i did it that's how i became uh, people tell me one of the most well-connected people in the entrepreneur uh, small business world uh, that's how i did it and so that's why I've created the All-Star Entrepreneur Mastermind event. I'd love to have you come and join us if you're right for the event. Uh, if you're not right, it's you're someone who knows it all and you're arrogant and, you, oh, I don't want to share my connections or my resources or, you know, I'm too good to hang out with, like, Phew, I don't have time for that. I don't, I don't, oh, I only want to hang out with the superstar billionaires. I don't want to hang out with up and coming people. Well, then you're not, it's no, no, no big deal. It's just not right for you. But if, if you like the kind of the giving back and helping people out that are where you were once getting started and you want to hang out with other movers and shakers, the up and coming superstars, and you just want to enjoy some time in a very relaxed atmosphere that's also a very productive and very lucrative atmosphere, then you might want to come join us at the next All-Star Entrepreneur Mastermind. I hope to see you there.